Let's get into your awesome things of the week. Uh, well, hey, you know, let's roll back to you, Drew. Um, let's talk a little bit about 3D printing since we're kind of cool. on that vibe right now. You had you had a pretty cool, awesome thing of the week. What's going on here? Yeah, so 3dyears.org uh, just issued an article, and the title is Two-Year-Old Had... Forgive me if I botch your name, but uh, Maya, uh, to become the world's first patient to receive functional 3D printed ear. Oh, wow. Yeah, so this one is really cool. Um, so basically, the Queensland uh, University. Hold on, hold on. I'm oh. sorry. I have to point out here just so because uh, our friend Frank Mergy from the Pittsburgh Podcast Network also prints out notes for the show. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and I just want to point out that he's that you're in good company. Because you did cool. print out the article yep. to bring with you. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Go, go, go oh, ahead. That's fine. So, so, anyways, uh, in uh, Queensland University of Technology in Australia, um, they are about to print out a prosthetic ear for Mia Van Mulligan. Uh, she was born with a disease called microtia, uh, and so basically, uh, the standard 3D printing procedure for implants ears. Uh, within the next two to three years, they can see this happening. And this is really big for her, especially when she uh, starts to realize uh, that she doesn't have a ear. Be because with this disease, like you're either born with a partial ear or you're born without an ear at all. And so her, I believe it's her left ear. Um, she like can't hear anything and she actually doesn't have anything either there. So what they, they want this to lead into, though, is for them to, in two to three years, once they get this prosthetic on her, to actually use her own cells and grow an ear for her to replace the prosthetic. Hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if I'm understanding the disease, like, is the functional internals of an ear still there, or is this mostly a cosmetic thing? Uh, I, I believe it's different with everyone, but I believe in her situation, like, it's just not there. Okay, so like there's the, the eardrum and everything is actually mm -hmm. in her, but but just that that the functional shape of an ear just never developed on, right. on, on that side of her head. Right. So so wow, that so that actually would pretty much bring her up to par with something like that, right? Yeah, and the crazy thing is that there once they get this technology down, a new ear will cost you about two hundred dollars. So huh. yeah. Like huh. a, a real life year, two hundred dollars, which is cheaper than most glasses. So, <laughs> <That's insane. laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Wow. I, and and there are other like kind of tissue printing uh, uh, methods that they are they are already getting into. Right, right. Right. About like not replacement, like parts, organs, tissues, you know, things like that. So it it, it definitely kind of aligns with uh with that that uh you know, that process and what's developing there. Right. So when am I getting a human ear out of the kiosk? Can you give me just a <laughs> ballpark <laughs> projection? Maybe that's, that's our big announcement. Oh, man. Just Is body that, parts out of the kiosk. If that's one of your announcements <laughs> that you can't announce, just blink twice. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that's I how can it, see that's some how big I, implications there. That's, but how, it, that's how NDAs work, right? I don't know work, about right? safety. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways um awesome so uh that's awesome and i've seen like um I, i've spent some time at the uh the one uh oh i can't remember the name the one the one deaf school in, in town here where they're dealing with students to have like cochlear implants yeah you know? like like mm -hmm. like that is fascinating technology what they're able to do with that like there's actually like like these these kids have like a microchip implanted in their head basically yeah you know i think it's the western pa uh school for the deaf I, th I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, DePaul. Yes. Actually, DePaul. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Um, but we did a story with them way back on uh, Unsung back in the day. There, uh, there are some earbuds out there. I believe they're called the the Hear earbuds. Mm -hmm. And they're in prototype phase right now. But essentially, they're trying to improve the quality of hearing uh, for deaf and the hard of hearing. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. 